Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to find the factors of these given binomial expressions completely. So let's look at it very first example. We want to factor this expression completely. The very first thing I want you to just focus on this 12 and 27. What are the common factors? So the common factor between these is 3. And by the way, this 3 is also called GCF or simply greatest common factor. So once you factor out 3 from this one, in parentheses, we got 4x squared minus 9. So far so good. Now the next step is I want you to focus on this part inside this parentheses. So let me just write it down three times. I'm going to write this in parentheses. 4x squared could be written as 2x and then whole power 2. And likewise 9 minus 9 could be written as 3 square and right up here this represents a difference of two squares so we're going to be applying this formula the difference of two squares equal to the product of sum and the difference here i want you to look at this thing 2x i want to call it an a and 3 i want to call it b so that's going to become a squared minus B square. Let's simply factor this one out. We're going to be using this one. So this could be written as, see 3 is still outside. Just leave it there and this could be written as 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. So once again, this is your an A, this is your B, this is your A and this is your B. So thus 3 times 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3 are our complete factors and that is our answer. And here is our next example. We want to factor it completely. The very first thing I want you to look at these coefficients, the numbers 18 and 50. What are the common numbers that could be factored out? And we can see that 2 is in common, so 2 could be factored out. So this 2 is also called GCF or simply greatest common factor. Now I want you to focus on these x variables, x power 3 and here x. If you look at what is in common over here, that GCF is going to be simply X. So I want you to just put down X. So our complete GCF turns out to be just simply 2X. This could be factored out. Once you factor this one out, inside the parentheses is going to be a simply 9X square minus 20. Why? So far so good. Once again, if you're not sure, just simply distribute these one. You're going to get 2x times 9x squared is going to give you 18x power 3 minus 50x. This is where you're going to look at it. So here is the next step we are going to do. I want you to look at these parts over here. I can write them as once again, this 2x is outside, just leave it outside, and 9x squared could be written as 3x, and then whole power 2, and then 25 could be written as 5 power 2, 5 squared, isn't it? So this represents a difference of two squares. So we are going to use this formula. It states the difference of two squares equal to the product of sum and the difference. In our case, this 3x is b, I can write it as an a, and then 5 as a b. So this simply become a square minus b square. 
So let's simplify this thing, use this formula. So 2x is again outside, just leave it outside. And this could be written as 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. So far so good. Once again, this is our a, this is our b, this is our a, this is our b. So thus, 2x times 3x plus 5 in parentheses times 3x minus 5 in parentheses are our complete factors and that is our answer. And here is your assignment now. Can you solve these problems on your own? Can you find the factors for these two problems? You can take your time, pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.